Hey, welcome to this video about the attribute auto closure in Swift. So if you have some experience with Swift, you probably have already seen the attribute auto closure in the API that you use. It looks like this, but there is also a good chance that you never had the opportunity to use it yourself and you might not be familiar with how it actually works. And that's the two topics that I want to answer in this video. And to do it, we're going to take a very simple and real life use case we are going to consider a function that logs messages to the console. And this function has a very important features is that the logs must only happen when we are in debug. When we are in release, we don't want anything to be logged. So let's try to use this function. So let's say I have a URL response, which is the return of some network call. And I want to log its description to the console. So I use my function log. Okay, now this work, but there is actually a subtle drawback here, is that when we are passing the argument to the function log, the call to debug description will be always evaluated, no matter whether we actually use it inside the function log or not. And for a URL response with a big body, a big payload, this might actually take a little time to compute. So it's definitely something that we don't want to have in our release app. We don't want to compute the debug description unless we are actually sure that we are going to use it. So how can we solve this issue? Well, one way of solving it is for the function log, instead of taking a string, rather to take a function that returns a string. This way, we can call the function inside log, and this way, the actual string will only be computed if we use it. If we don't, it won't be computed. But you can see that now, the call site no longer builds. And that's normal because I'm just passing a string and not a function that returns a string. So I need to update my call site. And while it now works, we can see that this call site, it just doesn't feel right because we needed to add some implementation detail, passing in a function and not a value, and that doesn't feel right. And this is exactly where auto closure comes into play. So auto closure is an attribute that you use on a function. So I'm going to decorate my argument with auto closure. And now you can see that I can remove the function here and everything builds. And as its name suggests, autoclosure, what it does is that it's going to take the argument passed in as a string and it will automatically wrap it in a function that returns a string. This way, we have the best of both worlds. Inside the function log, we call the function that gives us the message only when we need to. This way, there is no performance penalty when we don't need the message. And at the call site, we just need to pass in a string. So there is no overhead because we are actually expecting a function in the function log. And that's what auto closure does. Thank you.